Hi, I'm Mary Bell Rios at BPI TV. I'm here with Dr. Jocelyn Couture of Dr. Paul Lohman. Hi, Jocelyn. Hi. Now, Dr. Paul Lohman is known as a manufacturer of organic and inorganic salts. Can you give me a brief introduction of yourself and your company? Yeah, for sure. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. So, my name is Jocelyn Couture, and I'm responsible for marketing in pharma and bioprocessing at Dr. Paul Lohman. We are a family owned company, 130 years old and we are manufacturing inorganic and organic salts. And um, so we have 400 products and 7,000 specifications, ranging from A to Z, from aluminum to zinc, from acetates, citrates, sulfates to phosphates. And uh, yeah, it's a wide range. Mm -hmm. So that seems like a diverse portfolio. How do you define your core competencies? So we are a GMP manufacturer from Germany and uh, we focus on specialities by providing added value to our customers' needs, by providing customized products. And mm -hmm. quality and uh, consistency are extremely important for us. So you bring a lot to the table, but how do you practically contribute to solving your customers' challenges? So obviously, uh, we keep what we know from our customers confidential. But what I can tell you is that we work very closely with our customers to support their individual needs with our customized products. Whether the need be of compendial compliance or specific physical requirements like particle size distribution or microbiological or endotoxins. So we have a lot of solutions in our toolbox. What are your biopharma customers looking for? So in, in general, in my opinion, it is speed to market. So in other words, racing a new product from initial discovery to manufacturing to product launch without failing in a clinical trial. So it is developing an optimized and efficient bioprocessing. This is crucial to my opinion. What function does organic and inorganic salts play in bioprocessing? So our salts play various, various roles uh, in both in upstream and downstream. So in upstream, it is nutrition to the cell, or they support fermentation. They act as a buffering agent, or, or in downstream, protein purification, or as an excipient in the final formulation. Can you give us concrete examples of how it's used upstream? Yeah, yes, for sure. So within, uh, within upstream, you need to provide your cells with a nutrient. And uh, let us take iron, for example. Iron is essential for respiration and metabolism. It acts also like an enzymatic cofactor or protects cells from oxidative damage. So ferrosulfate does a good job with that. But so with the appropriate salt, you get a better cellular bioavailability. But if the availability gets too concentrated, it gets toxic to the cell. So the challenge here is to find a balance and to regulate the bioavailability to the cell. What about downstream? How are minerals, mineral salts used downstream? In downstream, for, for example, sodium sulfate um, does a very good job for protein purification. And sodium phosphates are very good as buffering agents. So we, we offer a wide range of sulfates, phosphates, acetates and citrates. But most importantly, we are able to optimize and modify our salts in order to achieve characteristics which are crucial for bioprocessing. It's like, it's, like, um, it's like a specific particle size distribution or improved solubility or defined heavy metal content or minimized microbial contamination and endotoxins, for instance. So it's all customer dependent. Excellent. Very interesting. Thank you very much for being here. It's good to see you. Thank you. This is Maribel Rio. Stay tuned for more from BPI TV.